Now, when you need to send multiple files to someone, maybe you're sending multiple files to someone via email. In some cases, what you may want to do is compress those files. When you compress them, not only does it possibly make them smaller, but it also puts it into a single file. Then when you send it, the receiver, whoever you're sending it to, is able to decompress that file. These are what we call zip files, Z-I-P. And zip files are compatible with every other operating system. So you don't have to worry about sending a file that someone can't open. Let's take a look at how we compress our different files into a single file and then how we can decompress them or open them back up. Let's go over to my Mac. Now, before we get started, I am using macOS Ventura, but this is not a macOS Ventura specific feature. This has been around since macOS 10 has been around. So if you're using an older version of macOS, you'll still have these same options. And it's pretty simple to do. So I have all of these different files on my desktop here. What I would like to do is send this to someone. Well, what I could do is just take them all and then add them to an email. But when you have a lot of files like this, it's actually better if you compress them into a single file. Then you're just sending one file instead of 10 files. Also, what it may do, depending on what type of file it is, it could compress it into a smaller file. Now, you don't have to worry about the person you're sending it to not being able to open it up. When you compress these files, it compresses them into a zip file, as I mentioned in the introduction, a ZIP file. Every operating system is able to open up a zip file. So you could send it to someone with Linux. You could send this to someone with Unix. You could send this to someone on an iPad or iPhone. They will be able to open up that compressed file. So now instead of sending 10 files, you're sending one smaller file. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to select your file. So I'm going to select all of these files here. They're selected. Now all I need to do is just control click on it where we have our contextual menu, I hold down the control key and I click. And when I do that, what you're going to see is compress. All I have to do is just select this and what it'll do is it'll take all 10 of those items and put it into a single file. And again, depending on what type of file it is, it'll make them smaller. With images, it typically doesn't do a lot of compressing, but if you have text files, it can really make them a lot smaller. And then when you uncompress them, it brings them back to full size. So I'm going to select compress here. And now you're going to see I have this single file here, and it's called archive. And you're going to see that it is a .zip. It's a zip file. So now what you may want to do is rename it. So I just select it. And now I just rename it. So I'm just going to call it my files. So now what I'm able to do is just drag this over to a new mail message, and then I'm sending this one file over to that person. I could put this into messages, and the person receiving it would be able to open it up. That's basically all there is to compressing a file. So now let's take a look at how we decompress it. I'm going to actually delete all of these here. So I just select them and I delete them. So now I just have my one file, my zip file, which is actually 10 files, right? So how do I decompress it? Well, all you have to do is just double click on it. If I was on a Windows machine, I just double click on it. So let's go ahead and double click on it. You're going to see it open it up and I have my folder here. And when I open up this folder, watch what happens. I have all 10 of my files there. So now what I'm able to do is open up each one of these individually. So that's basically all we have to do to combine and compress multiple files into a single file. And again, you don't have to worry about the person on the other end not being able to open it up. They will be able to open it up. All you have to do is just select the files that you want to compress, hold down the control key to get to our contextual menu, and then select compress. It'll combine all of those different files into a single file, and you can include folders in there. It'll Combine all of them into a single file, just rename it so the person knows what that file is, and you could even call it just double click me. And when that person receives it, they just have to double click on it, and it'll create a folder, and it'll have all of your files in there.
So that is how we can compress and combine multiple files on the Mac.